We're almost at the end of this training series. Uh, we have our game, we have our main character, we have some uh, enemies, and um, of course it is pretty easy from here to add a script that will uh, count the amount of turrets that you have destroyed, and if you give it the amount of turrets that are in the level, then you can switch the level at the end when all the turrets have been destroyed. So that's a pretty easy gameplay, pretty fun. So. I'm going to show you how to make a 3D main menu and with that I will also show you how to switch levels from one level to another. First thing that we need to do is a new scene. If I look at my scenes folder right now, there's only one scene right now and I've named it uh, the uh, part 26, but even though this tutorial is part 27, but you know, it will do. And um, we need to make a new scene, so if I go to file and then new scene, it uh, asks me to save it, sure, I'll save this and now I have a new scene which is not saved yet so let me save this one save scene it will ask me where do I want it so I'm going to put it in my scenes folder and call this the main menu alright now we just need to uh, add some things to make this look a little interesting of course I can add the terrain that I was using the last time so um, you know that makes it pretty pretty quickly pretty easily so here we have some grass and some some stuff going on. Of course we need a light right here in the middle. Game object, create other, and then let's go to directional light first so that shows the hills a little bit. Let's rotate it. Well, not too much. It needs to look a little spooky still. Alright, there's that. Then we need to add, for example, a wall that will uh, function as our main menu. So let's do create my bread, create other than a cube, which is terribly small, of course, and it is underneath the terrain. So I'm going to have to move that up. Zero, zero, zero. All right, let me move it to the middle of the terrain. And I don't think you have any problems following along now since we're at part 27. So you're basically a game development beast right now. Alright, let's scale this up. Let's uh, go with 10, then also 10 in the Y. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to place the text of the main menu right on top of here on this cube, you know, so that our camera is looking at it. It will be a main menu that actually works in 3D. Okay, so there's that. Let's angle this up a little more. Yeah, let's add another light, just a point light this time. Create it right in front of our menu, just to, just to light things up a little bit, make it a little funky. Perfect. Let me make this diffuse material white or something, just to make it look pretty, um, you know, in your face-ish. So let me just um, create a new material create material and I'm not going to use a texture I'm just going to just going to use the white let me see uh, yeah looks pretty grayish still to me might have to use a texture after all but oh well let's continue on and I'll deal with the texture later let's rename this one and call it uh, menu brick well I guess we have to do some Roblox after all <laughs> okay then we have this now we need to add some text to put on our main menu and of course some characters to make it interesting because nobody wants to play a game that looks boring so uh, let's uh, look for our worm character here models worm here we go we have our worm right here so let's add this one to the mix. Pretty large, which is uh, which is nice. Let's scale down just a tad though. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 on all three axes. Let's rotate that puppy around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Move it down. Now it's not pretty well lit at the moment. Let's actually put them right next to the brick. 
just to fill things up, give it a little bit of a full feel, you know. You don't want to look at an empty level. All right, let's put a light in front of him also so that we can see the character a little bit. That's a lot better. Of course, lit it up from the bottom so that it looks a little more scary. All right, that looks pretty good already. Now, to make the theme of our game complete, we also need to add some turrets, of course, because the whole idea is to uh, to to kill those turrets, you know. So let's go look for the cannon, which is this one right here. All right, let's not use this one. Let me just uh, use the prefab instead that we made last scene. All right because the materials are actually better on this one okay now we don't want our turret to shoot because it's the main menu so we don't want him to find the worm yet but I think it's okay because it's not actually uh, set to look at a target so let me make this cannon a little bigger because we want to overdo things to really show that this is a cartoony game let's move him down onto the floor Rotate it a tad. Move it. All right, looks pretty cool. Let me duplicate this. And it duplicate. And scale the second one down back to 1.5. Now I'm just doing this a little bit on the fly here. You know, it's fun to play around with a visual editor like Unity. This makes things awesome. All right, let's rotate this one and actually angle it up like that. Something like that. I actually don't like the fact that the other cannon is now bigger, so I'm going to change that to 1.5 also. I'm going to rotate the head of this one a little bit. Or actually a lot. Nah, just a little less. So that it looks like a battalion of cannons. So I could add more and make them a little closer together and stuff. But for now, let's just uh, keep going. Let's look at this from the top. Something like that. Okay. Now we need to position our camera so that it actually looks like a, uh, like a, like um, like a correct game. Like make the worm just bigger anyway. Look at that's a lot more funny. It's a lot funnier, I should say. Perfect. Okay. Now where's our camera? Camera's right there. We don't need it right there. We need it in the middle. So let's move it. And then rotate it. Move it a little more. <clears throat> now let's pull out our game menu so that we can see what we're creating. Now look at this. It already looks like a main menu already. Even if the camera would fly in or something like that, it would be really cool. Um, but let's move it just a tad closer. We can see exactly what we're doing now. In case you were wondering, what the heck is he doing? All right, let's rotate that down a little bit. Sweet. Move it in just a tad closer. I'm still going to rotate it a tad this way. Move it some more. Well, we can, you can fiddle about with that forever. But, you know. All right. So I think the camera positioning is pretty nice. Maybe I just need to move it back just a tad so you can see more of the worm character. And now we're going to put the words new game and that sort of thing, quit game, right on top of here. All right, so let me save my scene for now. And next we'll uh, take a look at how to add the 3D text, how to make change color as we hover over it, and all that good stuff.